How's it going today? This is the multi-block tutorial build for the turbine. This is going to be kind of a different build because I'm going to show two turbines in one. This one being the HP steam turbine. This one being the regular turbine. I've already went ahead and laid out some of the casings here. It is a 3x4x3. The very bottom row is all of your turbine casings. And then on the sides here are the only blocks that have to be different. That is your maintenance hatch, your input hatch, which need to be side and centered. On the opposite side, you will have your output hatch and your muffler hatch nice and centered your turbine itself will go right here in the center and your dynamo hatch will go in the back and then you will finish it off make sure center is empty and you'll finish it off with turbine casings. Now, the difference between these is the high pressure one does not need a muffler. As far as I can tell from looking at the tooltip of the HP, it'll intake superheated steam, output regular steam, the other one will input steam, output distilled water, and needs the muffler. Both of them creating power while they convert those fluids. And they also need these turbine items. You have four different ones. You have a small one, a regular one, a large one, and a huge one all depending on the amount of blades and the long rod that goes with it, amount of power in the assembler that it takes to put it together. The bigger you go, the better efficiency you have with it, except for the huge. I'm not sure about that. Also, the more optimal flow of liter per second of steam that it can take. That will go right in here. So you want to make sure you pipe these up. That they can take exactly what the turbine you choose will get. Anything over, I do believe it's 10% of optimal flow will be lost. So you don't want to just give it a but all the steam it can take you want to get it right to the optimal flow of your turbine. You can also choose to do that with your hatches. Make sure your hatch has the internal buffer of whatever that can handle for its optimal flow. And then it won't be able to take in more than what it can operate. You'll definitely want to keep the distilled water that comes out of it. That way you can pump it back into your large heat exchanger. Um, the regular turbine here is made out of steel components, advanced circuits, where the HP is made out of tungsten steel and energy flow circuits. So this is something you can make fairly early on, um, like mid medium voltage to high voltage level. This is something you're going to need to be into high voltage and up to extreme voltage to make because of the material that's used to make it. There's also a plasma generator and a, a gas turbine. They're all built basically the same. Uh, I have not built either of these yet because we don't have things to build them with. If and when I do, I will do a little update multi-block video to show them. But they're basically built in the same type of way. You'll see the HP here uses tungsten steel 
IV machine hall, which is tungsten steel again. Energy flow circuits where the regular large steam turbine is only advanced steel, stainless steel, and your HV, which is stainless steel as well. So this can be made much earlier on than the HP version. So I hope that helps anybody that has any questions on how to build these. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Tonight we'll be doing a live stream here on the server to hook these up and test them out along with the large heat exchanger and the reactor. So feel free to stop by or check out the live stream footage afterwards. It'll be up uploaded to my channel. One last thing before I leave, make sure that the blocks in front of your turbine are clear. When trying to test build this on a live stream last night, I had a torch right here and it would not form the multi-block. So be very careful with that. And then to turn them on, you just hit them with your soft hammer here. And that will enable them just like every other multi-block. Have a good day. See you next time.